and students, I am Teacher Cheryl and welcome to my virtual classroom. Today, we will be discussing about the arts and crafts of Cordillera Administrative Region. But before that, let us discuss first the language of art. We have motif, textile, folk art, aesthetics, dye, loom weaving, and loom. Motif in visual arts means a repeated pattern or theme. In textile arts such as weaving, it is a recurring element or a fragment of that piece when joined together makes a larger work. Textile refers to a cloth that involves weaving or making of cloth using natural or artificial threads of fibers. Folk arts are expressions of the community in their craft that are usually made because of their utilitarian and functional purpose instead of a mere aesthetic. Aesthetic is a science of judging beauty. Dye are coloring materials that are made of natural or synthetic pigments or coloring fibers used in cloth weaving. Loom weaving is a process of weaving using a loom, a device used to weave a cloth. And now, let us discuss about the arts and crafts in Cordillera Administrative Region. The Cordillera Administrative Region is a region in the Philippines composed of the provinces of Abra, Apayao, Binguet, Ifugao, Kalinga, and Mountain Province. This region is home to numerous indigenous tribes collectively called the Igorot Province. The people of Abra use natural dye and still practicing loom weaving. The people of Apayao also have a rich tradition of basket, handicraft, and textile weaving. The Binguet is the homeland of three tribes, the Ibaloy in the southeast, the Kankanaay in the northwest, and the Kalanguya in the east. Tinalik is the known basket of Ibaloy. Ifugao was named in the term of Ipugo. I means from or people, and Pugo means hill. Thus, Ifugao means people of the hill. Or, Banawe Rice Terraces is the famous heritage in Ifugao. Ikat is the Ifugao with loincloth, which means to bind together. Bulol is the Ifugao sculpture rice god of Banawe Rice Terraces. Kalinga are skilled in pot making basketry, and loom weaving. Mountain Province is known in their tattoo art as form of folk art in their province. They are also known for its hanging coffins and mummified bodies. That ends our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like Share and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Teacher Cheryl. See you next week. Bye!